Hello friends, energy dependency, India's one of the biggest problems. Today sometimes we tolerate Donald Trump's statements. On the other side, we watch for Vladimir Putin's decisions. India is forced to walk a tightrope between both sides. We cannot lean fully towards America. We cannot lean fully towards Russia. At the same time, we cannot raise our voice too loudly against both of them. The reason for this situation is the same, energy dependency. But friends, India always had opportunities to break this energy trap. Even now, time has not completely slipped away. In fact, today India is seeing a great weapon in its hands. It is an opportunity to fulfill the dream seen 75 years ago by India's great scientist Homi Bhabha Jahangir. Earlier, in one of our reports, we explained about the possibilities of hydrogen fuel. If you have not watched it, check out that video first. Or at least jump to it after this one is done. At the end of this video, we will bring that video on your screen and you can just tap and watch that as well. But in this report, we are going to talk about thorium and the huge power hidden in this precious element called Thorium. If India uses this properly, then we can supply fuel to the entire world. We may supply fuel to the same United States and Russia as well. So what exactly is Thorium? How can it solve India's energy problems? And how can India become the real energy emperor? Let us understand everything step by step. Please stay with us till the very end. India, the energy emperor. The moment I said this line, the energy emperor, I bet some of you have already started laughing. Can a oil-less country like India ever become an energy emperor? How is it even possible? Some of you may already feeling like posting laughing emojis on the comment section below. Why? Why? Because for many people the truth is clear. In the energy matters, India's condition is so pathetic until now. Friends, right now the situation is if fuel does not come to us from foreign countries, then we will be forced to move around on bullock cords like old days. That is our reality. Even today we beg Arabs, Africans and Americans for oil. And we also compromise with Russia's Vladimir Putin and with his policies. That is why India has explored different types of energy in the past including hydrogen. Because friends, we need alternative energy urgently. If anyone in the Middle East shouts the war, the world war, that is enough. Immediately our petrol and diesel prices will shoot up to the sky. Our foreign exchange reserves will drain just to pay oil bills. In this situation, what new option does India have to become an energy emperor? Green hydrogen is still in the developing stage. And at this stage, it is also very costly. Nuclear fuel, nuclear fuel from uranium is another option. But India has less than 1% of uranium reserves. We import it from countries like Russia and Uzbekistan. So what remains? Friends, here comes the thorium. Thorium is one resource that can make India the energy king very easily. But how? For that, we need to understand what is thorium. To understand the nature of this element, we first need to understand a little about uranium first. Because uranium and thorium are very closely related or connected in becoming nuclear fuel. Uranium is one of the heaviest naturally occurring atoms. It has 92 protons. But in nature, we find uranium mixed in three different types. Uranium-234, Uranium-235 and Uranium-238. These are isotopes of uranium. Isotopes means the nucleus of the atom has the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. In all three, 92 protons remain the same but the neutron count differs. Uranium is an unstable element. Its nucleus is always ready to explode. When a neutron is bombarded into uranium-235's nucleus, the uranium atom splits into two equal parts. But the 
combined weight of the two split atoms is less than the original atom. According to Einstein's famous equation, E is equal to mc square. When mass decreases, it is converted into energy. That is how uranium-235 produces energy when hit by a neutron. But the interesting part is this. Along with energy, one extra neutron also comes out. That neutron again hits another uranium nucleus. Again uranium splits into two parts. Again energy is produced. Again one more neutron is released. That neutron hits yet another atom. This becomes a chain reaction producing massive energy. This chain reaction can be used either for a nuclear bomb or for nuclear fuel in power plants. Thorium can also be converted into nuclear fuel in a similar way. But thorium is not a fissile material by itself. When a neutron hits thorium, it transforms into uranium-233. It doesn't happen immediately. First, it becomes an unstable element called protactinium-233. This lasts for 22 minutes. And after about 27 days, protactinium-233 becomes uranium-233. And this uranium-233 is almost the same as uranium-235. Both can undergo chain reactions to generate nuclear energy. So even if we don't have uranium directly, we can still use thorium to create uranium-233 and thus produce nuclear fuel. So one thing is clear, thorium can do things for India. Now let's come to the real point. India has very little uranium, right? We made this point very clear, but we have plenty of thorium. Around 16% of the world's thorium reserves are in India. After Russia, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, India has the largest thorium reserves. India has around 1 million tons of thorium, mostly found in Tamil Nadu and Kerala coastal areas. Back in the 1950s, Dr. Homi Bhabha Jahangir proposed a thorium-based reactor project as an alternative to uranium. He also designed a three-stage nuclear program for this. But unfortunately, India has only reached stage 2 of this program just last year. For five to six decades, we have moved forward very slowly. To finish stage two and three and successfully make thorium-based nuclear fuel, India may still need 25 more years if we crawl in this speed. And to make things harder for us, this process is technically very complex. Thorium conversion requires special fast breeder reactors, but India has not yet built even one fully functioning reactor of this kind. Two reactors are under construction for almost a decade now. And as we already said, thorium is an unstable material. Building reactors for it is a huge scientific challenge. That is why progress has been very slow. But that doesn't mean innovation is not happening in other countries. Here is one such innovation. Who made it? Americans. America's breakthrough. Recently, America has made a significant breakthrough and this innovation can breathe life into India's thorium dreams. A US company called Clean Co Thorium Energy CCT has created a special thorium fuel called ANEEL, Anil Fuel. This fuel can be used in standard reactors like PHWRs, pressurized heavy water reactors and CANDU can do reactors as well. The good news, India already has these reactors. For example, in Karnataka's Kaiga and Maharashtra's Tarapur and total all over India, India has about 21 such reactors already running. That means India does not need to build new special reactors separately for this purpose. If we understand America's method and get this technology here, then India can start producing thorium fuel in the reactors we already have with only few small modifications. And another advantage is thorium waste is very low compared to uranium. In fact, it is safer than uranium. 
example uranium reactors produce about 10 tons of nuclear waste every year but thorium reactors produce only one ton of waste in 10 years i'll repeat what it is it is very significant for example uranium reactors produce about 10 tons of nuclear waste per year every year but in contrast thorium reactors produce only one ton of waste in 10 years that is why thorium reactors are considered more eco-friendly on top of this cct the american company has also said that if we mix a small amount of uranium with thorium then just one ton of thorium can produce 45 gigawatt days of energy this is seven times more than what india had previously estimated if this works then india could produce between 3500 to 5000 terawatt hours of electricity per year that is three times more than india's current annual electricity usage meaning india will no longer need petrol or diesel vehicles can run only on electricity and that will be clean energy india could even become an energy exporter to other countries this could give a huge boost to india's economy as well and that is why we need to make this thorium technology possible so friends what is your opinion on this please let us know on the comment section below and if you like this video please don't forget to like share and especially please don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much let's meet again namaste